Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm testing out an As Seen On TV product called the Presto Plug. It supposedly allows you to essentially move an outlet up to four feet to a more convenient location. But does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, today is gonna to be kind of an old school video. I have a single product, a little bit shorter video, where I test out one SC on TV product to see if it actually works. Before we get too far, let's go to the unboxing and see how that went. It says it's got two AC plugs, two USB ports. Very small print here, it says remove at your own risk. They say they are not responsible for damage to your paint, wall, or wallpaper. So keep that in mind. See, it's good for all these different places here. Just peel and stick. Should be pretty simple, right? They also say it has a slot for your phone. It's kind of like a mini shelf here. So it seems pretty good. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we've got this, which looks like maybe a cord management thing. This has a gigantic sticker on the back. They also have some, uh, looks like some guides on here as well. Is that four feet long? Maybe. So there is, a, there is a shelf on the top here. There are two USB ports on the sides and two outlets on the center. They do say it conforms to UL standard 817. Do not plug in more than 1625 watts into this cord set. I did get two of these as part of the double offer on television. And what's funny is I ordered it on TV and then a week later I saw it in the SE on TV store, but I already had one replaced, so I had to wait for it. I'm not real fond of the idea of a sticker on the wall. I've even considered about maybe using something else instead of that. What I'll probably do is I'll put one in an area where I don't care about the paint and one I might be a little more careful about it. Now because the Presto plug uses an adhesive that's going to make it difficult to test out in different locations because really once you put it in a certain location it's kind of stuck there. Well, that's one reason I'm glad I got the double offer because I have two of them. One I can focus on the adhesive, one I can focus on everything else. By the way it was $32.46 from the direct from the website. I gathered double offer was 10 bucks extra for a second one. They say it's free with the extra fee. I don't know what free with an extra fee means, but it was $32.46. For my first test, I wanted to try the adhesive and see how that worked. That particular test ended up lasting about four days, and here's the first part of how that went. You might wonder why I'm stuck between this bed and this wall right here. This particular wall, which is the reason I'm stuck right here, is in the process of being repainted. So if I do mess it up, I'm, I can fix it. The instructions say to make sure that you've cleaned off the area, which I've done. Let it dry, which I've done. So now what I'm supposed to do is peel it off, stick it to the wall. I'm gonna leave it here for two days. According to their instructions, they do say you can remove it with dental floss. We'll see about that. They don't really say how long to hold it here, so I'll just hold it here for a while. So while this one sits here for a couple days, let's go test out the other unit. All right, so here's a situation where the Presto plug might actually work well. Now you see way over there, there's an outlet. I got this lamp plugged into it. I mean, I'll still have a cable there, so I can't clean that up, but at least maybe the outlet will be at a more convenient location. Right, so plugging it into the outlet here, it's kind of nice because you have this angle, so you can actually still plug something in there without having to worry about it. It still leaves the other outlet open. I kind of like that. I mean, I would probably put it down below, but they're kind of advertising as something more accessible. So maybe I'll see how it looks right here and see if I can do that. I'll do it like this. This is kind of the way they're showing on advertising. Let's do it that way. I guess I'm looking at about right there. Uh, how does that look? <laughs> I don't know about that. It's kind of what I'm showing. It's like, I'm not, I don't know if that's really that great looking, but let's, uh, let's do a quick command strip to temporarily mount this and see how it looks. I think I can use about two command strips right in the center, at least for just a temporary solution here. If I wanted to, I could stick this to the wall, but I don't want to, because I'm not going to leave it here. It makes it more convenient, but it doesn't really look any better. I mean, it works, but I think I need to try this somewhere else. All right, that's it. What do you guys think? Not a big fan, but it works. So there's an outlet behind this couch here, and according to their packaging, this seems to be the kind of use that they really want you to use it for. You have this outlet, kind of hard to get to. You can raise it up a few inches, a few feet even, and you have better access. But before I do that, I actually need to adjust my command strip technique because the first one didn't really stick too well. Let me go fix the command strip situation and then come back. All right, so my first set of command strips did not stick to this adhesive backing very well, so I'm gonna take a chance and I remove this backing and put a command strip right up against it. It could be a mistake, but I want to see how many different places I can test this out in without having to actually stick it to the wall. All right, this should definitely work now. Back to the couch and see how it goes. Plug it in, easy enough. So I guess based on the way they're advertising this, you'd probably want to put it right about there. That's what, that's what they're showing. Let's see if command version Mach 2 will work. Now keep it in mind, these are just being held with command strips, not the actual adhesive. I don't want to get too crazy plugging stuff in there just yet, but what do you guys think? How's that look? Does it look better having it in plain sight like that, or is it better having it hidden? I don't, I don't know. I'm a little bit on the fence about whether I like that or not. Another possibility, if you don't want it above the couch, you could put it 
off to the side like this, or like this, I suppose. There seems to be no consensus whether the people want it to the side of the couch or above the couch. I kind of like it like this because it keeps the wire straight. I almost like that a little better. I think I like that better. Because then it's more accessible, but not really hanging above your head like that. If you had a table there, it wouldn't be as, as obvious. I think I like the side configuration better than behind the couch like they show. All right, it's been two days. I'm very happy about that. Instead of doing the dental floss or moving like I was going to do, I want to do one more test of the adhesive. But they have this little shelf up here that you can suppose you rest a phone or a tablet. I've got kind of a medium sized tablet, maybe even a small tablet. I'm going to rest this up here. Well, first I want to say that the shelf isn't very deep, so it's, it's, it's not a lot of room up there, but it is holding it. Let me leave this up here for a couple more days. And something else to consider is that it's not plugged in, so the weight of the plug is also contributing. So if you can hold all that for a couple more days, it's probably going to hold anything. So I'll be back in two days and let you know how it held up. So I posted a picture of the Presto plug on Twitter and Instagram, and there's kind of a range of responses. Some people thought it was a really good idea. Some people thought it wasn't a very good idea. Some people thought, well, maybe if you move it, move it to a different location, that might be better. There was no real consensus about whether this was actually a good idea or not. But that tells me there is enough people out there to maybe warrant something like this. So the television commercial shows a kid in the top of a bunk bed. I'm next to a loft bed. Now in the commercial, it shows the kid with his Presto plug way up here. Now looking at this, the plug is about this far down on the ground, but the problem is this is a three prong plug. So you can't just go straight and they, in fact, they show it like that in the box. They show it like this, but really the prong is in the bottom. So you have to be kind of like this. It's going to have to be down here, which really makes the height of the Presto plug just below the mattress. So it can reach higher, but I don't think all the way up like the show in the commercial. I've got bad news report. There it is happened uh, when I was out of the house for a while. It came back and there it was. It fell just from the weight of the iPad. The iPad was there for probably about two days, but it did not hold the iPad long term. Very disappointed. So the fact that it fell kind of ruins my plans of seeing if the dental floss technique will work to remove it. It also makes me wonder how that adhesive is going to hold up over time if it falls after a couple days of just having an iPad on there. I mean, maybe it was my textured wall. Maybe the additional weight of the plug contributed to falling. I, I'm not really sure. It's kind of disappointing though. I should point out that I'm not trying to bash on people who want to have the outlet above the couch. It just it looks weird to me. I know in some parts of the world, that's actually pretty common. Just, just unusual to those of us in the States. But I have decided where I want to put the Presto plug for its permanent location. And that is right here. A little bit lower than I tried my test yesterday. Of the one that fell off the wall, I looked at the adhesive and a lot of the adhesive around the edges was messed up, but in the center it was still intact. I think it'll stick again. I think. We shall see. So let's get started and see how it goes. We're doing it for real this time. I got the permanent adhesive. Now, if this doesn't stick, I can actually pull that off and buy another one, but if I'm gonna assume it's gonna stick. If it doesn't, I'll just replace it. I'm gonna use this cord cover as well this time. I'm gonna put it right up against this baseboard here. Some people will think that's a great spot for it. Some people will hate it. Everybody seems to have a different opinion on where this should go or how it should work, which I guess makes it good because it's versatile in that respect. All right, so right here, I kind of like this. It's kind of clean, low to the floor. I can access USB ports and outlets at the same time. Now, some people might want to put a table in front of it, which you could do. It might defeat the purpose a little because then you have furniture in front of your outlet again, but that could be an option if you're just looking to add a couple of USB outlets, but you want to keep them hidden. All right, so there it goes. I got the lamp plugged in, the USB cable plugged in. The lamp is working. And the phone is charging. So as with most as seen on TV products, it seems like there's a range of responses to this. Some people thinking it's a great idea. Some people think it is not. With a lot of people in the middle thinking maybe it would be good in some situations. I do think that some people will like it some other time. My big concern is with the adhesive. That's going to be something that's going to vary, I think, with a lot of different people, depending on how it's used. There'll probably be instances where it works great over time. Some people will probably put something on there and it's on the floor the next day. It's kind of a big variable. I'm not sure I would really trust an expensive gadget on there at this point based on my experiences. It's an interesting gadget and I'm going to keep using it. If anything changes, I'll let you know on my social media how it goes. But if you've used the Presto plug, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.